I don't like anyone up in my business, so I prefer to hide certain apps, right? The problem with Pixel phones is that they don't allow you to do this yet. This is changing with Android 15, which is introducing private space. This is a feature that allows you to create a secondary ecosystem within your phone. It even has its own Google Play Store. It can be locked and it can be hidden. Let's show you how to use it. So in order to use private space, you need to enable it first. And to do this, all you have to do is go to settings and then tap on security and privacy. Scroll all the way down until you see private space right here. Tap on it, enter your pin, and then you'll get more information about private space, right? And you can read through it. It pretty much tells you everything there is to know, but uh, you can set up, tap on setup. And now here's an important privacy feature, right? You can create a new Google account so that the downloaded apps and other info don't appear in your main account. So if you download apps, using your main Google account, the, those apps will actually appear in your main Google account's uh, Google Play Store download history. And you don't want that, right? And also Google Photos will sync with your same account and all that. So you should probably create it. If you're gonna do it, you gotta hit got it. But we're gonna skip this for the sake of simplicity, but you should do it. Also, you can choose a different uh, pin number for your private space again we recommend that you actually do it so you can choose a new lock screen new lock choose new lock right here but we're gonna skip it for now it's gonna create your private space and you're all set all you gotta do is hit done now if you want to check out your private space it is actually here in the app drawer so you go to your app drawer right and you scroll all the way down and you'll see it right here it says private and it has a little lock right here. You tap on it to unlock it. And then you enter that same pin number and it'll open up. Now you'll have your separate apps here and separate Google Play Store and you can install new apps here. So if you tap here, it'll open the Google Play Store and you have to sign into your new account, right? We're gonna skip that, but pretty much what's gonna happen is that all those new apps will appear right here. And you have a separate Google Photos account and Chrome browser and contacts and everything you need, right? If you want people to stop being able to see this, you gotta tap on the lock button right here and it's gone. The thing here is most of you are probably not running Android 15 yet. The only reason we got access to it is because we're using the beta software. And we don't actually recommend that you do this or that most of you do this. It can have bugs, it can crash, it can be troublesome, but you can wait for it. And in the meantime, you can also hide your apps this way. So the trick here is that you probably don't have Android 15 yet, which means you don't have access to private space. The only reason we have it is because we're running the beta software, but we don't recommend that most users do this. It can be buggy, it can crash, it'll create problems. You probably want to stay with the stable releases, right? Now, if you're not running Android 15, you can still hide apps on Pixel phones and any other phone, really. It just requires a bit of tinkering. Um, you can use a third-party launcher, for example. There are many launchers that will allow you to hide apps, but we'll use Nova Launcher just because it's a very popular and easy to use, uh, simple launcher, right? The only trick here is that if you wanna hide apps, you gotta, use, you gotta have this Nova Launcher Prime app which is pretty much a paid version. Now we're in the Nova Launcher, launcher right in the home screen right here. If you want to hide apps, you, all you have to do is go to Nova settings and then you can set this launcher as your default if you wish, if you want to continue using it. You can hit app drawer right here and then scroll down until you see hide apps. Tap on it and select which apps you want to hide, right? And let's hide the calculator. And then if we go home or, or to the Nova Launcher home, that is, and we go to the apps, you will no longer see calculator right here, right? But you can still access these apps if you search for them. Calculator, see, it's right there. And you just tap on it and open it. If all you want to do is hide system apps, which are usually considered bloatware and such, um, you can't uninstall these. So it's pretty annoying to see them sometimes and sometimes they come from carriers and such, but you can disable them. The only thing about disabling apps that you should keep in mind is that this can break certain things depending on the system app that you disable. For example, if you disable Google Photos and another Google app wants to access this 
information it'll break some features right it won't be able to use it but if you want to do this all you have to do is go to settings go to apps select the see all apps option right here and find any you know app that that's a system app that you want to disable so let's tap on calculator again and then you hit disable disable app and it'll be gone if you want to get it back you just follow the same steps go to seal apps find a calculator and hit enable pretty cool right stay private guys see ya